this problem is based on the but okay now let us read the question calculate the work done by an 85 kg man who pushes a crate 4 meters up along a ramp that makes an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal he exerts the force of 500 newton on the crate parallel to the ramp and moves at a constant speed be certain to include the what he does on the crate and on his body to get up the ramp here two things one is he is pushing the crate up and then he himself also moving up so the work is done by him on the crate and also on his body and then the total work done is work done by the man on the crate plus work done by the man on his body that i will write okay work done by the man on the crate plus work done by the man on his body gives the total work done okay now here you know work done is equal to force into displacement f dot t r this is equal to mod f mod d cos theta where f is the applied force and then d is the displacement produced in the body by the applied force and theta is the angle between force and displacement okay now we how to calculate the work done by the man on the crate that is simple so the first one this is the first one and this is the second one okay so i will write here work done by the man on the crate is equal to what is the force he gave 500 newtons 500 into um displacement is 4 so 4 meters is equal to 2000 joules you may be wondering what happened to angle ramp angle theta 20 degrees here you should remember that the theta angle is between force and displacement okay here the force is in this direction and displacement is in this same direction both are in the same direction so the angle between f and d is zero okay here theta is equal to zero and then cos zero is equal to 1 therefore this is equal to ft okay so d is the, theta is the angle between f and d both are in the same direction therefore zero angle now we have to calculate the work done by the man on his body here what is happening the gravity is doing the work on the man to pull him down okay there is no other force he himself has to apply the force so that he should be form and also he has to apply the force to climb up the ramp otherwise he will be sliding down okay because the gravity is acting downwards he will be pushed downwards so he has to do the work against the gravity now we have to resolve the force because he, here we are given the mass of the man mass of the man is equal to 85 kg okay now um what is the force acting on him fg force acting on the man is his own weight fg fg is nothing but here we have to calculate the fg how to calculate i will draw the free body diagram okay for your convenience i will draw the free body diagram and then let us calculate okay 
Now, here is the man st standing like this. Okay. So, what are the forces acting? The force is acting vertically downwards. Okay. And other one. Okay. Now, what is the third line? We have to draw another line to show the this is how, and then now this is Fg, and this is Fg sine theta, and then this is Fg cos theta. Because this is the ramp angle theta. Theta is equal to 20 degrees. Okay, this is again 20 degrees. Okay, this is opposite side. So this is Fg sine theta. And then this is the direction how the Fg acts. Okay, so the man is pushed by the gravity downside. So he has to apply the force against the gravity. So in the upward direction. So this is equal to Fg. Fg is equal to Mg sin theta. So what is mg sin theta? 85 times 9.8 times sin 20. Okay. Now, work done by the man. On his body. Against the gravity. W is equal to this one, Fg, I'll write, Mg sin theta times D. Here cos theta is equal to, again, because he is moving in the same direction. Therefore, theta cos theta, theta is equal to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1. And then we need not write again cos 20. Okay, So this is equal to. 85 into 9.8 into sine 20 into 4, 4 meters. Okay. So what is the value of this one? 1139.61 joules. So that what is the total work done now? Let us add both. Total work done is equal to 2000 plus 1139.61 is equal to 3139.61 joules. That is equal to 3.14 into 10 to the power of 3. I'm expressing the final answer in the scientific notation. Therefore, total work done is equal to 3.14 into 10 to the power of 3 joules. Here, we, you have to remember or you should know that the angle is not between the, you need not consider the ramp angle when the force is given. Okay. Here we are, when, whenever the, we are talking about the work, the angle cos theta or the theta comes between the force and displacement. Okay. Here the force and displacement are along the same direction. Therefore, theta is equal to zero. The same way the force applied by the man against the uh, gravity is uh, is we have to calculate first we have to calculate the force acting on the man or the force applied by the gravity and then again, again the next this is downward direction force acting on the man is downward direction okay so that is negative minus mg sin theta this is negative 
but work done by the man on his body is he has to uh, do in the positive direction upward direction okay so the the, the force fg sin theta is acting vertically downwards but he has to apply the force in the opposite direction to come over the this one so the force acting on the man is minus mg sin theta but the force applied by the man is by the man on his body is equal to mg sin theta plus mg sin theta not minus and this is minus mg sin theta is applied by the gravity okay by the man is plus mg sin theta that is why i am taking w is equal to mg sin theta into d and theta here the theta we have to take only for this one for calculating the force because force is not given to us okay when it comes to the work done we need not consider the cos theta because cos zero is equal to one so we have to we need not calculate that one this is the important concept because generally people will get confused where the angle is and then how to calculate okay ramp angle will never come into picture only the angle between the force and displacement comes into picture okay hope this helps thank you bye bye